Uh, got his composure back, I see. Hem, I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney? Yes? A few minutes ago, you took a one of my cards, didn't you? Huh, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? Oh, great, another heart. Howdy, he got it right again. What can I say? You two, you've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? Ha ha ha. I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Okay, now I'm really gonna leave this time. We're going to the circus, everybody. Should be great. His hair is pink there, so I guess it matches. It's fine. Can we get, like, a funnel cake or something? That'd be good. But this time, we are here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Uh, I mean, we can examine, but... I don't think it really matters all that much around here. Uh, the Big Top or the Lodging House. Let's just go to the Lodging House, since it's listed first. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So that stoogy clown should be here, huh? Uh, okay. I immediately suspect the clown. Ah, hello. I always see you hanging around when I'm working a crime scene, pal. You always seem to be working so hard, Detective. I'd rather not be working hard, but with crime you don't make your own hours. Okay. If I have to be at the circus anyways, I want to see the lion tamer in the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show's always the same. Dead body, stage left. How many times has that happened? At a circus? Huh, okay, anyway. Yeah, he did, but, um... Should we talk about, like, a, a rampant circus problem we have going on here, apparently? Eh, whatever. Does he not complain? Uh, really? I haven't really noticed. Whatever. What do you think of this current situation? Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? I wonder. Of course, it'll be Miss Von Karma. Yep. Uh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again. She's gonna hit you with it so many times. What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, that's enough about Von Karma. What about that guy? What is he up to? Who? That guy? Oh. What the fuck? Why didn't you say that? I'm talking like an anime here. That guy. You know, the Edgeworth that's Nick's rival? Oh, that one. I thought you meant the other one. What in the world happened when I went back home? Mr. Edgeworth. He broke my heart. Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what does he mean that Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick? Okay, then. Tomorrow's trial, we didn't talk about it at all, actually. We just talked about Edgeworth, but fine. The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yup, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. A pretty sad way to go out, if you ask me. Well, they were having a meeting in his room. Apparently died outside. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you're standing right now. Ha! Ah! Ho, ho, ho. Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yep. It's pretty clear it cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But... But? What if he just fell from up there? Probably not. That was case one. There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Huh. There always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. No comment. What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? <laughs> the thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? Footprints. It's crawling away. Look at this picture of the crime scene. Oh, is that a security camera? 
Yeah, he's got a- he's like he's protecting something under there. No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And, and, what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. Uh... Yeah. They... yeah? That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there. Well, he's probably... Well, do you know he was killed there? He's clearly crawling away, so he was probably hit on the head inside and then crawled out there, trying to get away, and that's as far as he made it. Or, the killer was flying. That might be actually what they believe. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, or he's invisible. That's fine, too. Where did the killer come from, and where did the killer run off to? Why, do you, why does it have to be that he was hit on the head out there, though? Is there, like, blood splatter proving that, or... Probably not. Oh, oh, well, okay. Is that what we're gonna go with? Like, they're gonna think he did it because they think he's he was flying? When it's entirely possible he was just hit on the head somewhere else. That's when something just clicked in my head. I mean, you know he can't really fly, right? I'm pretty sure. That's right. Flying is impo- well, I mean, for humans, we, you know, we fly in planes and such, but yeah. And birds. Flying is impossible as a blanket statement is just not true, but I get what you mean. I meant nothing by it, pal. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Let's try it. Okay, we get the crime photo. Uh, I guess I should present Max. We got those guys back. Nothing about the ringleader himself yet. Looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. They didn't like him? No surprise there. He didn't seem that bad! Phoenix! What the fuck? Never have I not related to you more than right now. Jesus Christ, man. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. Bad attitude should probably be a crime. I say so. It's not just his attitude, I got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. It's a nice peacock feather, I like it. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. Alright. That's silk hat. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they are easy to understand. Okay. I must have hit a nerve. Huh. It's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Whoa! Is it a clown? Let's talk. Speaking of clowns, you guys see the picture for the new, uh, the new Pennywise for the It remake? Looks pretty fucking stupid. Anyway, how about any eyewitnesses? I mean, the original movie was terrible, but Tim Curry was awesome as the clown. This clown looks... Bleh. Oh well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you were too abod from entering that lodging house. Why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. It must be because there's an eyewitness inside that lodging house. Let's check it out. Oh, no you don't, pal. Uh... But can I, though? I mean, are we are we done here? Mo! Let's... Can I just go? Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm going. Alright. Nice. He's, he's definitely a clown. Look at those outfits. Look at the shoes. He's got a big ball. A fucking trampoline that's been broken through. Or it's a hoop. Unicycle. Giant straw. Uh, a banana peel. <laughs> Nice computer. <laughs> the name tag on the door says Mo on it. Any relation to Eeny and Mimi? Completes it. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Even though they changed it Meeny to Mimi. We got Mo now. Probably no relation. It's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse though. Really? Oh well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. Alright, uh, I mean... 
I don't know what good examining any of this would do because it's all just weird stuff. But what about the poster? What the fuck is that? Are those carrots? What the fuck am I looking at? Anyway, let's look at the. I I can't. I can't examine the poster. Or the computer. I can examine this. Okay. Well, seems to be a voracious reader. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Look at all the hard books he has here. Clowns for dummies. The jokes on you. Treat your peons right. And the classic. Funny jokes are funny. Those sound like fucking Rick and Morty and or Gravity Falls commercials. Like the <laughs> this is the random ones that you'd see that are all improv. Buy our new book. Funny jokes are funny. Ah! You know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what about this garbage? Teehee, clown equipment is so funny looking. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle, he's even got a trampoline. But they're all broken. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice. Who knows with that guy. Maybe that's part of the gag? That's what it is. Uh, let's check out his shoes. Awesome, look at these shoes. They're great. Forget the shoes, check out the great gag banana peel. You sure it wasn't Moe's snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. No need to be rude about a banana peel. All those clown costumes joined up like that? Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Or crack? I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. How many characters in this game are going to be afraid of clowns? That's a pretty common thing. I have a friend who, uh, who says that she's scared of clowns. But honestly, I think a lot of people aren't really scared of clowns. It's just that clowns are like a popular thing to say that, oh, they're creepy. And so people kind of like, and they kind of convince themselves that clowns are creepy and that they're scared of them when really they're, they're kind of not. Like, yeah, clowns can be creepy, but I'd, I'm definitely not scared of clowns. And I think a lot of people probably just, I don't know, I think they kind of convince themselves that they are. I think my friend is probably like that because all of a sudden she's just like, oh, I'm scared of clowns. I'm like, okay, sure. I don't know why I don't believe it. It's just... Eh. Let's check that out on the ceiling. Look at the ceiling. It looks like someone punched a hole in it. You're right. I wonder what happened. Is that what it looks like? I wouldn't I wouldn't assume that immediately. You punch the ceiling. But okay. Then you punch a wall. Not the ceiling. So, okay. We're pretty much done. We, we, got, a, we got a good look around the room. Let's go to uh, the other place that we couldn't go, or we could, but we didn't. The Big Top itself. Ladder! Ladder! We gotta investigate. Somebody has to point out that it's a ladder. Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? You insulting me? Grr, that lion! Help! It wasn't me. What's happening? Oh, it's the tiger! Tiger! He's coming this way. Okay. Did it, did it get us? Are we dead? Game over? Death by tiger? That's probably how I'd want to go. Stay! Stay! Heal! We got the fucking tiger tamer. I'm still here. I'm not dead. Yet. Nick! Nick, are you okay? Scared you, didn't I? Who do we got? Oh, hello. Okay. You're very shiny. Interesting hairdo. Huh. Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? Regent? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter, me? Nick, he almost died there. Ha. Huh. He wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with the wild tiger, right? If I can befriend the tiger, that would be even better. That's another dream of mine. To befriend a tiger or a lion or wolf or something along those lines. If you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? Okay. You have very large eyes. What do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? 
She's shiny. Woohoo, your costume. Eh? It's cute. I want to try it on. Look at that hair bounce. Okay. Costume? You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really? Hee <laughs> hee. You're the best. Wow, the tables turn quickly on that one. You guys trade outfits. Go ahead, I'll watch. It's fine. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Barry. Oh, in relation to uh, the uh, the owner? The ringmaster? The renowned animal tamer of the Barry Big Circus. My name's Maya Fey. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we really look odd. What? Wouldn't you look more normal? Whatever. Nice to meet ya. Uh, likewise. Alright. So, uh, your dad dead or something. Uncle? I don't know. Brother? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. <laughs> I never liked him anyway. Can't imagine how hard this must be for you. The uh, was that insensitive? That sounds like a pretty normal thing to say. That's right, the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I like how my voice, since I can't do a different girl voice, it's just the same girl voice, but whispering. <laughs> That's how it's gonna be. Why do you say you're sorry? Eh? Anyway, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10pm. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent? So she was with that beast? It's not very nice. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. I mean, you're talking about... I don't know how old this girl is either. You don't be talking about her perkiness. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Ever since Leon... Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Was he a lion? Why aren't we looking into the murder of the lion? That's more important. Leon the lion. Regina and Regent. Interesting name choices. Leon... He died? Yes, actually, he was killed. Oh, fuck, we gotta... F oh, shit. Well, fuck your dad, then. I guess that's why you're not sad. <laughs> he, he killed the lion, so I don't associate with him anymore. Now she has a motive, too. Revenge for her lion. Alright. That's actually, you know, now that I really think about it, that's never really been, like, all that much of a thing, where, like, all the characters have different motives, and we've got to really decide which one did it. I can't really think of any of the cases where it's, like, multiple characters who are like, oh, they would have done it for this reason. Motive just isn't usually a thing in these games, but right now, both characters involved have motives, so that's kind of cool. I like that. That makes it actually, like, a mystery. Like, they have, we have reason to suspect multiple people. I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Alright, Phoenix, if you, all right, if you want to go for it. Um, do you want to talk about, like, Max or somebody? Whoa, that's him? My god. How old is she? 16. Alright, never mind. Uh, or, I mean, this is Japan, or, or it's not, but either way. That's probably fine there. The idol of the Barry Big Circus and daughter to Russell Barry, the ringmaster. Okay. 52. A little old to have a 16-year-old, but not, not really. The victim and ringmaster of the Barry Big Circus, Regina Barry's father. Nice stash. Is his mouth... His mouth is, like, super up close to his nose, and then he's just got, like, a lot of chin. That's going to be a character at some point. A lot of chin. Uh, do you want to talk about the dead guy? 